Let me show you what to do if you can't connect your Samsung Galaxy tablet to your uh, computer or laptop to transfer files and the pictures and videos or whatever. Really. So maybe if you uh, like connect, uh, the computer actually can't find your tablet or there's something off uh, else. So I'll show you two different ways. So first is uh, if you actually connect it, you actually have to enable this permission the first time you connect. Otherwise, both these devices can't actually link up together. So to do it, Again, once you have basically plugged them together, you simply have to swipe from the left side to open up your notifications and you will see a new notification appear, uh, USB 4. So uh, I think USB 4 charging, it's by default. So if you click here, so look for something like this, click on it and click once more on it. So you actually have to select this option, transferring files, Android Auto. So, and once you select it, basically, yeah, you'll be able to actually go to the for example, the PC, for example, and we'll see the tablet here and we are able to also like access the storage of it. So you see, so the pictures, videos are located over here. So again, if you actually do not select this, but simply connect, you might even see uh, this uh, like icon appear of your tablet, but actually you won't see any files. So again, make sure to actually go over there and select this option. And then the second way uh, what actually happens uh, with these tablets is uh, a physical problem. So either you have uh, like a cable that actually is not good enough for file transfer or also there's something actually stuck inside in your charger port. So first what I can suggest you to is uh, simply literally try another cable for this. So again, if you actually connect it, maybe your tablet even charges, but you actually do not see this notification and you can't connect, again, literally try another cable because just because a cable is charging your device, it doesn't mean that it's actually good enough for file transfer. So again, maybe it's some kind of older cable that is maybe worn or again damaged in some way, or again, something is off with the cable. So that is the most common cause. And then the other cause is, uh, basically something maybe is simply stuck inside your tablet's port. So essentially this again is also like very popular problem basically on these tablets. So I will show you what to do. And you will need a bunch of simple tools to actually fix this problem. So first actually let me uh, show you what actually the inside of the port actually looks like. So the type C. So again, so it looks something like this essentially. So the port where we essentially plug-in or charger cable. So you have the like round port and actually in the middle there is a connecting strip and that strip has a bunch of pins. Maybe like 10 on each side or something like that essentially. So what happens basically if some lint or, or basically uh, gets stuck basically over here when you actually connect the cable it simply doesn't make proper contact with those pins and it simply yeah, can't even like transfer the data again even if it's charging so again for charging maybe only a few pins there actually get used but for data transfer pretty much most of them actually get used to get the best performance really and so then we simply really have to clean this so again i have very simple tools here also you can literally maybe even take like a flashlight here and see what's actually inside of your charging port and what's actually happening inside there maybe you can see any like very obvious problems there maybe again so again this is not a very like rare problem so again this is incredibly common problem essentially so the best way to clean it is you simply take a tiny sewing needle. So I will grab the smallest I can find. So something like this essentially. So you see, absolutely, absolutely tiny. Also obviously make sure to turn off your tablet before you do it. We do not want to actually uh, short anything out. It's it again, metal object here. So again, the tiny, tiny sewing needle is the best tool for the job. So what we are going to do is take our needle here and essentially like with a scooping motion, simply like stick to the outer edges. So, and scoop out any junk that actually comes out of this port. So on this side and also on this side. Okay. And do not actually go near these corners. So there is a space, but it's actually too tiny. So again, stick to this part and this point. And again, do not actually touch the main strip. Uh, so we do not want to actually damage or bend anything on those pins essentially or stuff like that. So on your tablet. So let's take the tablet. I will take my needle here. Okay. Let it focus. So, so I'm simply inserting my needle inside this hole basically here. So again, all the way in and then 
or also obviously make sure to uh, hold your tablet like this so all the junk actually falls out otherwise yeah it will uh, get inside left so again i'm inserting the needle here and simply scooping out all the junk that actually comes out of this tablet again inside all the way inside so and once you do it a couple times also a good tool to get basically blow everything out that uh, is there is simply like a blower like this so it actually exerts like crazy amount of air basically once you blow so you see put in there and simply like really blow inside so again with from multiple directions like this so and repeat this maybe like two or three times with a needle and follow up with this one also maybe a toothbrush also is actually very good uh, to also like dislodge any like fine junk so again this is fairly safe to actually even if you put it on those pins essentially so again brush it out the pins basically and follow up again with the pressure basically uh, uh, for blowing in air this is really the safest tool i actually do not suggest you to use those air cans basically that that blow in compressed air because they actually leave like a moisture inside so these are, aren't actually very safe for electronics this is the best tool for electronics so it's simply like blowing air and nothing else so use this again it costs like literally two dollars basically and then again try again also when you uh, insert your cable again it has to actually kind of click inside so make sure to verify that's actually going all the way in and also you see if i even like hang it in the air it should actually hold like this so you see we have a very very good secure hold here that means the connection is good and everything should be okay and you should try now okay good luck